Oh, it's half on Come on, man. What's up, man? What's up, man? There was a TV show called What's Happening before you were born, youngin. <laughs> Welcome back to our stupid reaction to it's I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitch for more. It's so, so juicy. It ran away. The Twitter just went off into the corner over there. It's hiding. Today, uh, we are reacting to a video. It's called The Five Most Mysterious Temples. Well, In this India. one is really when I've got long hair, I hide it. Oh, wrong temple. Uh, but yes, this is a, uh, just a, I'm guessing, like, I mean, we know India has a lot of temples. Yeah. And I'm sure there's a bunch that are really old. Yep. Most of them, I would have said. I would imagine they How are. many new temples are made? Well, last time I checked. Here we go. So these are mysterious ones. Well, yeah. we'll define that I adjective think, there. I, I think they will. I, I didn't oh. make this video. You didn't? No. Oh. Here we go. Mystic lands presents. Present. Makes me feel mysterious. Kind of like your mom. <laughs> I hate that graphic. Number five. Oh. <gasps> That's not that mysterious. It's just out there for everybody to see. That's huge, though. It is. Are they renovating it? Look at the scaffolding. It looks like it, yeah. Oh, wow. Dang. Read it. Constructed in 1255 Common Era, the temple is located in Kanark, India. The temple is designed as a chariot. With 24 wheels pulled by seven horses. Oh, that's cool. Those things are massive. Look at that. Yeah. Part of the temple structure collapsed or was destroyed in the 17th century. Mysteriously. Apparently so. It is believed the collapsed structure had a 52 ton magnet at the top. What? This magnet caused the main statue idol to levitate in the air. Dang. <laughs> That's cool. idea. <laughs> the wheels of the temple are actually sundials. Look how intricate that is. I know. I'd love to look a little closer at the detail on that. Precise time can be calculated by the shadows cast by the spokes. Sundial, yes. <laughs> That's what a sundial is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's cool though. It'd be cool if it was still there. I'm guessing it's not still there. I think it's still there. No, the, the levitating thing. Oh, yeah, no. Rahadiswara Temple. Dang. Constructed in 1010 Common Era, the temple is located in Tanjore, India. Those are massive. It's one of the largest temples in India. Looks at it. It does look large. Yeah. <laughs> Approximately 130,000 tons of granite was used in the construction. Wow. How do they do these? Aliens. It's it. <laughs> the Kumbam round apex structure is carved from a single granite rock. This whole, this, yeah, that whole structure was carved from a... That's one heck of a rock. How do you get it up there? It weighs approximately 80 tons and sits atop the temple tower. You have a guy named Phil. Big, strong guy. The Vamanam temple tower is 66 meters, 216 feet high. How did they get that up there? I don't know. How did workers a thousand years ago manage to lift an 80-ton carved stone this high? That's the question I had! Lots of hernias. Probably slaves though, right? Without any cranes or lifting machines, still remains a mystery. Kind of like Egypt, it probably had a 
bunch of slaves. Number three. You know, there's a thing out there that they said it wasn't slaves that did the pyramids. Really? Yeah. What was it? Well, they said it was like Virabhadra, their form of tax. You had to work on it in order to. It's still slavery, but. <laughs> They said. Constructed in 1530, the temple was located in Lepakshi, India. Thing like that. You don't, you don't walk in any temples in Calcutta. The temple has around 70 pillars supporting the roof. I didn't. What? However, one corner pillar in the hall does not rest on the ground. Ew. Was that a mistake or was that on purpose? Oh, sorry, Frank, I made a miscalculation. In 1910, a British engineer tried to uncover the secret of the hanging pillar. And got stuck. <laughs> Stupid. He managed to make a corner of the pillar touch the ground. How? Pushing. But this made the ceiling to misalign and distorted the fresco paintings. Idiot! Don't mess with stuff. What keeps this pillar hanging from the top still remains a mystery. Isn't it just pressure from the other rocks? Whoa! What? Is that a foot? And then there's the large footprint in stone in the temple. Sasquatch. What is that about? The footprint is three feet long. Probably an imprint of something. Yeah, it's gotta represent something. Not a foot. A trickle of water flows into it from underground, keeping it wet. Why? It's probably an imprint. It's obviously not a real footprint. Number two. <laughs> Number two. Yeah. Padmanabhaswami. Padmanabhaswami. There is no exact date of origin of this temple. So mysterious, it doesn't exist. The temple is located in Whoa. Thiruvananathapuram, India. I got tired just looking at it. Ooh, that's pretty. It's the richest temple in the world. What does richest mean? Meaning that it's got probably the most valuable oh, okay, gotcha. items and artifacts inside of it as far as gold and different things. Yeah, gold and jewels worth 22 billion. Who owns that? Not us. Only five of the eight vaults have been opened till date. So how do you know what's in the other vaults? Whoa, that looks like something out of Raiders. <coughs> Vault B in the temple is the most mysterious and remains unexplored. Why? Is it like a sacred thing that they're not supposed to go in there? A chamber in the vault is sealed with an enormous iron door. You need Geraldo to go there to open up the vault. I dated myself with that one. It has two massive cobras painted on it with no means of entry. So this is just the door that doesn't open. So they Unless don't... Gandalf. It is claimed that the door can only be opened by a mystic chant. Well, I was right, like Gandalf. Just, just shout, it's going so... into the mines of Moria. Opening this chamber in any other way would bring great misfortune. Wow. Just, this is the best one so far. Just yell, it's so juicy at it, and see what happens. Could be. And the number one mysterious temple. Kailasa Temple. I, I kind of wish we got more information about these, you know what I mean? Actual date of construction of the temple is unknown. It's, it's, it's in the ground. Wow. Inscriptions on the walls can be traced to 8th century common era. Wow. The temple's located in the caves of Ellora, India. It'd be bad if you had enemies attack from up here, though. Right, wow. Dang! It's a megalith carved out of a single freaking rock. <laughs> so all this was one, and they just dug into it? Yeah. That's impressive. <laughs> Carvers started at the top of the rock and excavated downwards. You had to know, Jude. Wow. 
temple's twice the area of the Parthenon and 50% taller. Good night. It's all one rock. That's crazy. It has the largest cantilevered rock ceiling in the world. Approximately 400,000 tons of rock had to be removed from the site. That seems conservative. <laughs> wow. Look at that. How did workers thousands of years ago, using only hammers, chisels, and picks, manage to carve out this temple? I don't know. Can you tell me? They had a really good union? <laughs> it remains a mystery till date. Wow. Learn something new every day. That was, and that, that was cool. I, I, please, for now that we, we've seen this, and because this was requested a while, but I'd like to learn more about the, you know these specific temples. Yeah, and what they are. And please know that our tomfoolery and silliness is in no way uh, negating any of the sacredness of these temples. Yeah, the fact that they're not saying anything. Uh, don't even know if they're being used. That's my primary thing is I don't know if these are just landmarks mm -hmm. that they're now going back and looking at and they're not being used for any kind of spiritual or religious observances in any way, shape or form. Yeah. If we had known that we wouldn't have been as silly with the reaction, but it, I had no, no, I'd never heard of any of those. You? No, no. How many, like how many are there? Yeah, because the ones those were, are the five mysterious ones. What are because like obviously the most famous temples, tombs in the world are the Egyptian pyramids, of course. Um, but outside of that, the ones we know most about are you know Aztec, right? Temples and stuff. Yeah. Like, and when you think of India, you're like, yeah, India has a ton of temples, but I couldn't name outside uh, outside of the most obvious, like the big landmarks that are are there. That I, we I would imagine. There's thousands of temples in India. Oh, yeah. Has to be. Probably more than in Mexico and Egypt. Oh, probably. yeah, absolutely. Uh, so there's probably a ton that are very mysterious, and which was cool. This was more educational than I thought it was going to be. Me too. Also, uh, like if there's other stuff about, like uh, more in-depth videos about either certain ones or different ones or mm -hmm. just famous stuff. Like, you know, we're all about just learning everything about India that we have yeah. in mind. That we, especially like, you know, we love those little... Um, Ancient alien shows. <laughs> yeah. I'll, no, I mean, no, I'm not saying that you need to send us ancient aliens. Yeah. But, <laughs> Here they come. No, please don't. <laughs> but we like those types of shows that, you know, explore different stuff of, um, and, and, you know, India has millennia. Of yeah. Stuff that can't be explained, really. Yeah. Like, I remember doing some research when we were watching Padmavat and something about that place where the women walked into the fire yeah being closed at night or something along those lines i we love stuff like that history and trivia i loved i mean the architectural stuff on it i'm sure was not even remotely close to if you saw it in person um but like the door that can't be opened and no one's going to open it yeah it's like the come holy... on how bad do you want to open that door now yeah, very very much yeah and then <laughs> The uh, the the carving on like the one that they literally go from the top down, down. in all stone in like what eighth century yeah uh, something common era whatever yeah. I don't know how long ago that was that sounds like a long time ago <laughs> yeah well I was it was almost two thousand years ago it was over a thousand years ago so that would be year eight. Is what that yeah, means. it's now 800 CE would be the same as 800 AD. Common Era and, and AD are, oh, okay. are synonymous. Okay, gotcha. Okay, cool. Just making sure. Yep. Yeah, that was awesome though. That was really cool. Uh, please uh, send us other um, temple videos. Or yes. It doesn't have to be temples. Just cool stuff. You could also do the five most mysterious beard hairs on Corbin's face, like the white one that sticks out at me every day.